What's going on guys? Welcome to another trade and transformation video. This is day, fuck, let's see. We might be getting near day 30, bro. We might be getting near there. Let me see. <gasps> wow, we're on day 31 actually. So fire. Some serious progress in here. All right, but you guys probably came from the TikTok or you guys just saw the title of this. Um, I've given a lot of sauce out on here for free, per fucking usual, to you guys. Um, mainly focused on like futures and indexes, but um, I know a lot of you guys are Forex traders as well. So I wanted to start going into an old Forex strategy that I used to use. Um, the strategy that I teach in the trading transformation, in the boot camp, it's still applicable to Forex. I just kind of wanted to go into a Forex specific strategy. Um, I've never used it on indexes and I honestly don't think it would apply that well because this utilizes every single session for uh, Forex, okay? Um, so yeah, I kind of want to get into a Forex strategy to help you guys out with that. Um, and then once I complete this little Forex strategy within the trading transformation, we'll just keep going. Again, the main goal with the trading transformation is to give you guys literally as much value or like just brain dump every fucking thing that I know about trading into a YouTube series or into a YouTube channel um, to be able to help you guys make a shit ton of money in trading for free because that's uh, what I came here to do. It's my purpose for y'all. I really want to turn all you guys profitable. So without further ado, let me pull up a Forex chart. I know you guys can't see the chart right now, but I'll go ahead and pull up GBP, JPY, because this was my favorite pair when I traded Forex back in the day. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do <clears throat> is mark out session opens, okay? And if you guys have no clue when sessions open, the best thing that you guys can do is go to baby pips session. Oh yeah, market hours. Boom. Okay, so this shows it for my time in Puerto Rico. I'm going to change it to New York time, which is actually the same fucking time, but that's what my time frame is set to. For you guys, it depends on what pair you're trading. It's probably best if you just have this shit set to New York time um, because it'll be in line with the indexes and yeah. Okay. So boom, we can go ahead and see when all of these sessions open. And that's the first step of this strategy. Okay. So we want to be able to mark out every session open and we're actually going to ignore Australian session. Okay. So we're mainly going to focus on Asian session, London session, and New York session. So if we go over here, we know that New York session opens at 8 a.m. Okay, so we can go ahead and mark out 8 a.m. right here, boom. Okay, and then London session opens at 3 a.m. So we can go ahead and find three, boom, right here. And then Asian session opens at 8 p.m. So we can go ahead and mark that out. What is 8 p.m.? That's 20. Boom. Okay, so these are the numbers that we want. Oops, this should be at 8, 3, 20. Perfect. Okay, so this is Asian session, London session, and then boom, New York session just started. All right, we're going to want to mark out these consistently on our chart. Boom. Okay. So how the strategy goes, and I'm sure you guys have seen this in like videos before. Um, but what I like to do is I will mark out the session highs and the session lows. And this is a little bit different than just marking out draws on liquidity because it's just where, sorry, 
rewind itself. We're marking out the session highs and session lows, and it's a little bit different than just marking out like liquidity, um, because most of the time with liquidity, we're just marking every single high and fucking low. Um, but with this, I'm marking out the session highs and session lows. And on top of that, I like to do it on the 30 minute and for whatever reason, this just came with fucking market experience. Don't ask me fucking why, but based on my experience, doing it this way works. Okay, going in on the 30 minute, and what I like to do is I like to take, we see where the session highs and the lows are, right? We can see that these are the session lows. And I like to take a little box and draw it out like this, from the base of the candle down to the low, and then from the base of the candle up to the high, okay? And those are kind of our, our good to go areas, okay? And from there, what I like to do is I like to go and look at overall mar market sentiment, okay, figure out like, all right, right now, price is in a relative uptrend, okay, we have a pretty strong highs up here but we're in a relatively strong uptrend, especially within the hourly, right? We just saw price come down, sweep out these lows, big strong move up, okay? For me, that's giving me an overall bullish sentiment, okay? And what I want you guys to think about, and we're not going to go into executions yet today, we're just going to show kind of how this works, okay? What the strategy is based off of, it's based off of sweeps of session highs and session lows, and then just taking a trade back down to session highs and lows. So we're using session highs and lows as, I guess you could fucking call it like support and resistance, um, which I don't necessarily, I'm, I'm not a fucking support and resistance trader, but I guess you could fucking call it that. But for me, I I'm more, I'm more see this as like liquidity sweeps of session highs and of session lows, and then all that we're doing is taking trades um, to the next draw. So what I like to do is I like to mark out every single session, um, session open, and then I like to mark out all the session highs and lows. Okay, so for this, it'll be boom right here, and this is a perfect example of kind of the stuff that we're looking for. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this really quick and show you exactly what I mean and how this works. So we have, this is the start of New York session, okay? New York creates these session lows, okay? We could technically drag this all the way down here if we wanted to, but I'm just going to drag it out to these lows right here. Okay, and then we have these as New York highs. Okay, we see, what is this? Asian session, open, and price isn't really doing much. It's just kind of bouncing around, and then it drives into the base of these candles down into, again, we can put a freaking line here if we want. Drives into these session lows, and then we see this low key act as a liquidity sweep, taking out these lows. And then we see a five minute break of structure. And then from there, where do we see price go up and target previous session highs? Okay, so that's pretty much all that I want you guys to gather from this video is identifying how And what I want you guys to practice is literally just going in, marking out all these session sessions, opens and closes. Okay. And we can even see here, what is this session? This is London session. These are London session lows. Okay. We come through and we sweep out London session lows. And then these are technically London session highs, right? Cause what does a high consist of a move up then a move down? If we put on London session highs, we can see that if we were able to catch the bottom of this wick or find an execution within here, we would have hit take profit during this New York session. And then from there, if we had gone long off of this up to these highs, we would have hit take profit on that as well. 
Okay, let's see if we can find any more examples of this. But all that I want you guys to do, wait, that should be 20. Okay, so where are New York lows? Right here. What do we see Asian session do? We push into New York lows and then where does price drive? Boom. Previous New York highs. Pretty fucking crazy. And then New York highs get hit, we come down, sweep London session lows, come back into London session highs. Okay, Asian session opens, what do we do? We sweep out New York session lows, push into New York session highs. Okay, now we have London session lows right here and London session highs right here. And it'll be really interesting to see how this plays out. Well, honestly, we can circle back to this in the next video. But what I want you guys to do is just get used to marking out sessions, session opens and closes and just seeing how price Bruh, this shit is so fucking hard. Look at this shit. Okay, so we have this as our London session low. London session high. New York opens. Above London session highs, we drive into London session lows, revisit London session highs. I, I just want you guys to mark out session opens and see and mark out the highs and lows on the 30 minute time frame like I told you guys to. And see how often this plays out. It's not going to happen every single time, but it's, bro, did I miss? Oh yeah, 20. It's not going to happen every single time, right? Like within here, we don't necessarily see these Asian session lows get hit. Okay, and over here, we don't see these New York session lows get hit. Okay, but it's relatively consistent where we can use these highs and these lows from market opens as liquidity sweeps or fucking support and resistance, whatever the fuck you want to call it, for new session opens. Okay, so we'll do like one more example of this. Just see how it reacts. Okay, so right here, this was a failed attempt. We have London session lows and then London session highs. Right here, we drive into these lows. We get a slight push up. We don't quite hit these London session highs and then we end up selling off. So that's an example of where, look, we probably wouldn't have been able to win a trade on that. And again, we, we aren't even talking about executions right now where I really just want you guys to see how price reacts off of these lows. So again, we have lows right here. We have highs up here. None of those get hit. Let's see if there's anything else during London session. And again, this is like three sessions it encapsulates like a full day. Oh wait, yeah, this is literally perfect. London session. Okay, we have these London session highs right here. New York session opens, pushes past those highs, and then these would be London session lows. Smacks those lows and goes even lower. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is just mark out these time zones in these time frames and just see how price reacts off of these 30 minute highs and lows from every single session, okay? Again, it's just the session highs and the session lows on the 30 minute time frame, box off from the base to the high, from the base to the low. And that's all that I, wa I want you guys to do for now so we can start getting a feel for how price reacts to these highs and to these lows within the market. Cool? Cool. Welcome to the fucking Forex transformation, boot camp, whatever you wanna call it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this first little video. Again, it was pretty vague, um, but this is just like the first little start of us getting into this 
Forex strategy of us seeing and how we can take trades off of session highs and session lows pretty much throughout every single session uh, to potentially get literally three trades a day if you're trading every single session. So, boom, there you go. I'm going to upload this and then I'm going to start trading on futures. All right, peace.